every organization that we work with is different. That's actually the only thing that is consistent about all of them. Some of them have data centers that they know and love. Some of them are just ready to decommission all of these servers that are across their entire fleet. There's no one solution that fits every organization's strategy for moving to the cloud. However, there are some things that you do need to take into account. Regulatory statutes. If a company is required by law to have all their information reside within the continental United States, then they're going to need slightly different results than a company that you know doesn't have PII or PHI. If you're in the defense space, you're going to have very different requirements. So understanding first your legal requirements, your compliance is always going to be the first step to make sure that you're actually ready to migrate to the cloud. The second is you really have to understand, is it proper to do a lift and shift or do you need to actually do a rewrite? One of the things that we run into time and time and time again is companies that take software that was originally developed and designed to run on premise and move that immediately to the cloud. That is a great way to waste a bunch of money and waste a bunch of time because it's not gonna work. It's kind of like if you have a USB-C trying to fit that into a USB-A, it, it, the two do not meet. So companies that have legacy software that are trying to figure out, can I even run this in the cloud? You really have to be sure that you understand all the individual pieces. It's not enough to simply dockerize something. It's not enough to simply put something in a container. You have to understand where your database is. Is it you're going to be on a NoSQL database or are you going to be in a relational database? What eventing schemes do you have? Do you have PubSub? Do you have RabbitMQ? And what are the parallels in whichever cloud you're moving to? So I, I truly do wish that there was one single formula that every company could follow. But the only thing that we can really say without a shadow of a doubt is every company is different everyone needs to do it slightly differently and working with the company that can get in there and actually understand your needs your strengths your weaknesses and what sets your business apart from your competitors and how the cloud could potentially be used in a responsible and fiduciary manner that's really the, the key to success for moving to the cloud